Hey everybody, Nick here. We continue our COVID-1900 campaign. And I'm grateful that you are joining us this evening. And we, here in just a moment, we are going to pray a prayer for healing to our God. That's what we're doing during the COVID-1900 campaign is we spend time devoting ourselves to prayer, praying about the coronavirus, praying about those who are affected by and afflicted with the COVID-19 virus. I'm going to allow folks to come in and join us if they'd like to. Again, just a reminder, you can join us here every night at 7 o'clock on Facebook Live on the Davis Park Church of Christ page as, uh, as we go live and as we pray about the coronavirus. As people come in, uh, again, you can join us here. You can do it on your own as well. You can set yourself a reminder somehow, maybe write something on the refrigerator just so that you're praying. Let's continue to pray about the coronavirus. Let's devote ourselves, since we are under stay-at-home orders, let's devote ourselves to prayer during this time. You know, as, as we're living through this crisis, I am repeatedly driven back to the book of Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles is full of examples of when God's people faced a crisis, even international crises. I'm reminded this evening of Second Chronicles chapter 20. In Second Chronicles 20, we read about when the Moabites and the Ammonites with some of the Munites came against Jehoshaphat for battle. So Jehoshaphat, he's king of the southern kingdom down in Judah. And here come these armies, these foreign armies. And it's an international crisis. And so what does Jehoshaphat do? Does he go out and accumulate more arms, more power? Does he get ready for the big battles? Yeah, he, he gets ready for the battle. But the first thing he does, and the most important thing he can do, is he offers up a prayer. He gathers all the people together for a time of prayer in the assembly. And he offers up this prayer, and, and the conclusion of his prayer, he says, O oh, our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And in a similar way, our eyes are on God as well. It's not a, a great foreign army that is coming against us, but it is a powerful virus that is afflicting people the world over. And we have to unite with Jehoshaphat and say, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you, God. Later on, the spirit of the Lord, spirit of Yahweh, comes upon Jehaziel, son of Zechariah, son of Benaiah, son of Jael, son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph in the midst of the assembly. Verse 14 tells us that. And verse 15 gives us his sermon, as it were, the message that God wants to give to his people. He said, listen, all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. Thus says Yahweh to you, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours, but God's. And we need to be reminded of that now more than ever, perhaps, that when it comes to the battle against coronavirus, when it comes to the battle against COVID-19, the battle is not yours. The battle is God's. And so we're going to commit our battle to the Lord. We're going to commit it to him and we're going to call upon him. We don't know what to do, but he does. And though we don't know where to go and how to go, he knows how to go and he knows where to go. You've probably been reminded of one of the songs that we sing. It used to be a 728B in the old songbooks. But our God, he is alive. And one of the verses talks about how God holds the germ within his hand. Listen, any hope that we have of discovering a cure, a vaccine for COVID-19 is going to come from God because he holds the germ within his hand. And so, again, we want to commit ourselves to prayer and commit this battle to the Lord and and confess to him in prayer that it really is his. I see some of you have already come online. That's awesome. Welcome. Glad you're here. And uh, at this time, 
I want you to focus your heart and your mind. I want you to, to really hone in and uh, clear your, your mind of all the distractions, so many distractions, especially with the, again, with COVID-19. Today, the global cases eclipsed half a million, over 500,000 people now afflicted with this the world over. And so we want to, we want to definitely pray about this, but we need to clear out all the distractions. Clear your heart, clear your mind, prepare your heart, prepare your mind to talk to your Father in heaven. Oh Lord, the battle is too great for us. With Jehoshaphat, we confess, we don't know where to go. We don't know how we should go. And our eyes are on you. Over half a million people the world over now have the coronavirus. We are grateful for every person who has recovered from this disease. But there are so many who have died from it and so many who continue to be afflicted by it. Lord, we, we want to pray about those families who have lost loved ones. And we pray that you would be of comfort and healing to them, to their spirits, their souls. For those who are afflicted with the coronavirus, we want to pray that you would grant them recovery. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your word says that you answer and you deliver people when they call on your name. And so we ask that you would heal and protect those who are sick with the COVID-19 virus. We pray that you would heal those who are carrying the coronavirus and don't even know it. We pray that you would stop the spread of this virus in our nation and the world over. We pray that you would provide a cure for the coronavirus, that a vaccine would be discovered. We pray that you would heal our economy. So many people out of work, out of jobs, unemployment rates skyrocketing because of the coronavirus. Bring an end to this darkness. And whether the healing comes today or tomorrow or next week or next month, we believe that you are powerful enough to heal our world, to heal our nation, to heal our cities. And we will continue to praise you, even as we wait for the answers to our prayers. And we pray all this through the invincible name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Again, we will continue to do this uh, as uh, the coronavirus continues to wreak havoc. We will continue to pray to God. We believe in God. We believe he is powerful enough to handle this crisis. And so every night, 7 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time, 1900 hours, we do this COVID-1900 campaign. And so, again, thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time. You guys take care. God bless.